I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. How cold is it out there? It is so cold that several COVID vaccination and testing sites are shutting down. Centura Health is suspending the second day of its mass vaccination clinic at the Broadmoor World Arena. All appointments Sunday have been automatically rescheduled for next Sunday, February 20th. Denver's city run COVID testing sites are closed through Monday, while Arapahoe County will close its locations through Sunday. The U.S. Senate acquits former President Trump in his historic second impeachment trial. Seven Republicans crossed the aisle and voted with Democrats, but the number of guilty votes still fell short of the two-thirds needed for a conviction. Former President Trump reacted in a statement saying the Make America Great Again movement has only just begun. We're also hearing from some of Colorado's lawmakers who were present during the trial and final vote. Senator Michael Bennett, who voted to convict, releasing this statement on his decision, saying in part, although the Senate fell short of the required two-thirds majority, our bipartisan vote reflects the powerful evidence that President Trump breached his oath of office. Representative Diana DeGette, one of the House impeachment managers, also released a statement on the verdict. She said, quote, while we didn't get the conviction we ultimately sought, I believe we made our case to the American people, and that's just as important because at the end of the day, they are now the ones who will ultimately decide whether Donald Trump is ever allowed to hold public office again. Very cold temperatures tomorrow in the single digits for afternoon highs. We still have wind chill watches in effect here for the Denver area and a winter weather advisory for snow that will be falling and wind chill factors around 20 below zero throughout the day. Our overnight low will be 13 below into Sunday night. Then we warm it up a little more. 20s and 30s going into Monday and Tuesday. Another chance for snow by the middle of the week with a high of 30 degrees. Then we'll see 35 on Thursday. And look at this mild weather at last Friday and Saturday temperatures in the 40s and 50s. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download our Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.